Hi, my name is Jenny, and welcome back to Jenny Who Blogs, and Happy New Year, everyone. It's an old Southern tradition to eat black eyed peas the very first day of the new year, so you'll have good luck, good health, and abundance all year long. And even though I like to find recipes that are just for us solo cookers, I'm going to make a full batch of black eyed peas and plan on freezing the rest. I'll be able to enjoy them for months down the road. Maybe they will bring me luck, health, and abundance. Come on, let me show you how I make my black eyed peas. Start with black eyed peas, chorizo, onion, garlic, and green bell pepper. Soak your black eyed peas overnight or follow the directions on the package. Then pull out your crock pot and I had a box of chicken broth in the pantry and I went to the store and bought some collard greens to make it more southern. You want to drain and rinse your black eyed peas and in your crock pot add one box of chicken broth and then add the black eyed peas. You want to dice one green bell pepper and add that to the crock pot. Then you want to dice one yellow onion and add it to the crock pot. Since I added the collard greens, you want to rinse your greens and then slice the leaves from the stems. Using your kitchen shears, cut your pieces of collard greens into your black eyed peas. Mix well. Then I sliced six chorizos and I added that to the black eyed peas. And then I seasoned with the cumin, 21 season salute, gram masala, basil, oregano, black pepper, and the garlic. Stir and cover and cook on high for two hours. Then reduce and continue cooking on low until you're ready to eat. Then divide the black eyed peas into four containers, save one for later in the week, and freeze the rest. And enjoy. Well, I wish you all lots of good luck, good health, and abundance in 2023. I hope you enjoy making black eyed peas and I would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment below and be sure to click on like and share it with your friends and family too. Check out my YouTube channel and subscribe at Jenny Who Blogs. You will find the recipe on my website, JennyWhoBlogs.com. And remember, cooking for one can be fun and I'll see you next week.